Good day everyone! Welcome back to our lesson tutorials in Mathematics series. For today's lesson, we are going to solve algebraic equation in different property of equality. And to start with, we have here a word phrase. And in order for us to solve this word phrase, we need to translate it into mathematical equation. So we will just apply the lesson that we have learned last time. So we have 18 fewer than the number last week is 134. So the equation must be C minus 18 equals 134. The word S represents equal sign and 18 here represents the number 18 and the phrase fewer than represents minus sign and the number last week represents a known number so for a known number we will just use any variable so i prefer to use c now let us solve this equation so before we solve this equation we have to remember that we need to combine the similar term before performing any operation. So as you can see, we have negative 18 and 134. So they are similar terms. To perform their operation, you need to transpose 18 to the right of the equal sign. So when we say transpose, we transfer a certain number or variable across the equal sign. So when you transpose a number or a variable, the sign of that number or variable will be changed. So since the sign of 18 is negative, when we transpose 18 to the right place of the equal sign, it will become positive. So we have C equals 134 and when you transpose this will become positive 18. So now let us solve the equation. So 134 plus 18 is equal to 152. So you just add 134 and 18. So this is our unknown number. Now, let us try to check if this equation is equal or balanced. We will just copy the original equation, which is C minus 18 equals 134. And for you to check, you just need to substitute the value of the variable. So since we have C is 152, so we will just substitute 152 for C. So 152 minus 18 is equal to 134. So 152 minus 18, so the answer is 134. So it means that your equation or the answer for this equation is correct because your answer is balanced when you check. Now let us proceed to the addition property of equality using this example. So we have negative 13 equals negative 5g plus 30. Two. So again, we will just follow the procedure that we had a while ago. So we need to combine similar term and a similar term in this equation are 13 and 32. In order for you to combine these similar terms, we have to transpose positive 32 to the left part of the equal sign in order for you to combine negative 13 and 32 and since 
you transpose positive 32 to the left of the equal sign so its sign will be changed into negative so we have negative 32 minus 13 equals negative 5g and as you can see negative 32 and negative 13 have the same sign so you just need to combine them or add them and copy their sign so we have negative 45 equals negative 5g now there is still numerical coefficient of g all right to remove the numerical coefficient of g which is negative 5 you just need to divide both sides by negative 5 to omit the negative 5 as the coefficient of g so we have negative 5 divided by negative 5 is equal to positive 1 so our answer here is 1g or g and negative 45 divided by 5 is equal to positive 9. So, remember that when you divide or multiply numbers with the same sign, our answer must be positive. And when you divide or multiply numbers or variables with different signs, its answer must be negative. Now, let us check this equation if this is correct. You just need to copy the original equation and substitute the value of the variable. So we have negative 13 equals negative 5g plus 32. So we have negative 13 equals negative 5 and the value for g which is 9 plus 32 so negative 13 negative 5 times positive 9 the answer is negative 45 because we have different sign plus 32 negative 13 and as you can see uh, 45 and 32 have different sign and when the two number is added or when you find the sum of two number with different signs you just need to subtract them and copy the sign of the number which has a greater value so the number which has a greater value here is 45 so if 45 is greater than 32 so you just need to copy the sign of 45 and subtract them so the answer for 45 minus 32 is equal to 13. So your answer is correct. Now, let us proceed to the subtraction property of equality using this example. So our equation is C plus 18 equals 29 so again to combine similar term you just need to transpose one term to the other part of the equation so we have c equals 29 minus 18 so the sign of 18 becomes negative because you transfer 18 to the right of the equal sign so always remember that when you transpose a number or when you uh, move the number across the equal sign uh, its sign will be changed for for example we have positive and when you transfer that number or that sign to the other part of the equal sign or when you move across the equal sign the positive becomes negative and the negative 
becomes positive. Now let's proceed. So our answer must be 11. So 29 minus 18 is equal to 11. Now, let us try to check if this is correct. We will just copy the original equation, which is C plus 18 equals 29. And we will substitute 11 for the value of C because the variable C is equal to 11. So 11 plus 18 equals 29. So our answer is 29 equals 29. So it is correct. Now, let us proceed to the multiplication property of equality using this example. H divided by 5 equals 8. So now, if your equation looks like this, which belongs to multiplication property of equality, you just need to cross multiply. You just write cross here. So it means that you multiply 5 and 8. Since 8 is understood to have 1 here, so we have 5 times 8, which is equal to 40, and h times h times 1, which is h or 1h. Now, your answer is equal to 40. Now, let us check. So, we will just copy the original equation. h divided by 5 equals a. So, now, a, uh, the value of our variable is 40 because h is equal to 40. So, we have 40 divided by 5 equals a. So, 40 divided by 5 is equal to a equals a. So, it is correct. Alright. So, now let us proceed to the division property of equality using this example. So, our example is 3f equals 12. So, for the division property of equality, as you can see, there is numerical coefficient of the variable f and always remember that you have to omit or you have to find a way to omit the coefficient of any variable to get the answer. So we have 3f equals 12. So since 3 is the coefficient of the variable f, you need to divide both sides by 3 to cancel or omit 3 as the coefficient of f. So we have 3f divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3. So we have to omit 3. So our answer is f or 1f equals 4. Now let us try to check if this equation is balanced. So we will just copy the original original equation, which is 3f equals 12. And with this, we are going to substitute 4 for f. So we have 3 times 4 equals 12. So our answer is 12 equals, equals 12. So it is Alright, so this is all about on how to solve algebraic expression with different property of equality. So I hope you've learned a lot in this video and see you in my next tutorial and we will have some activities.